Hello and welcome to Doxies Under Puget Sound. Today, this is a fun flight. We're not in real deep water like usual. We're up looking and exploring this eel grass and trying to understand some of the reasons it's disappearing along the shorelines of Puget Sound. And one of the ideas that we are coming across as the TFR team of professionals, volunteers, taking their knowledge, jumping on the little boat, the intense, flying along with me, and we're finding this large area of ribbon kelp. I'm not quite sure the proper name, but it's lying on top of the eel grass, cutting out the light. And this possibly could be one reason why our eel grass is disappearing off the beaches in those shallows, sandy areas. This eel grass has a lot of little egg lava on the blades of the grass itself, which is really exciting. Hopefully that's a whole new life of marine critters. <laughs> I like to say that. But this gives you a good idea of how important our eelgrass is to the health of the living, let's say, critters in Puget Sound. And their health will transfer to our health. And I'm not sure, but this looks really good to me. The amount of new life on the blades of this eelgrass. If you've just joined us for the first time, I'd like to welcome you to Doxies Under Puget Sound. And if you have some time and you'd like to learn a little bit more about the salmon fishing adventures, swing over to TM Key Film. And there you'll see what we're doing with our underwater research as well as you can learn the hot spots of Puget Sound. When and where to fish, what to use, how to get there. That's all on TM Key Film. But right now, you're on Doc C's under Puget Sound, and this is our research TFR team studying the eelgrass, like I mentioned earlier. And as I continue our flight, I see nothing but good things here. Occasionally, you'll see a small little perch, lots of lava on those blades of grass. <laughs> I'm trying not to crash. Yes. Right in deep, I can look at those ribbon kelp to see what kind of growth is on those. I'm not seeing too much. Sometimes you'll see a white, round fungus on that ribbon kelp. But I'm not seeing it here. Now in the harbor of Gig Harbor, I saw it, a lot of it. It was a fungus that was growing on that. But I'm not seeing it in this particular shot. We're now moving a little bit to the south. And we're coming up into some sand now. We're looking towards the west over towards Gig Harbor side of things, up towards Olala, and we ran into a huge group of sea lions, and we decided to bring the drone up <laughs> out of the water and take a look at these guys. Holy moly, no wonder there's a huge school of coho salmon that are moving into the Olala Creek system 
along with chum. And these sea lions are having a heyday eating the school. Wow. This is a once-in-a-lifetime shot, folks. The spawning salmon are being taken out by the number of these sea lions. Holy moly. No wonder we don't have any fish in Puget Sound. We gotta do something about this. I don't know what. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.